Hi everybody, long time no see. Now I think I'm getting a little bit better at this online stuff, so we're gonna try something new today. Great job, last unit, you guys did an awesome job with China, uh, Central Asia, everything in between. Awesome job, by the way, on the exam. Hopefully that was easy enough for you guys. Um, but I'm still your teacher, so I'm going to try my very hardest to continue to teach you. So today we're actually going into, unfortunately, uh, well, I guess fortunately, unfortunately, my very favorite unit of all. It's the one that I'm the most passionate about, and I wish, wish, wish I was there with you guys to teach it to you. But um, today we're going into the discussion of medieval Japan. So if you like blood, guts, death, sadness, tears, all of the above, you guys are going to love this one. So um, before we get started here, let me just give you the basic introduction. It's one of our shortest units that we're going to be talking about. Now, this guy sitting right here in the middle of the screen, his name is... Prince Shotoku. Now he was the leader of this clan called the Yamato clan and they were the earliest of all medieval Japanese clans. So something that I would just love for you guys to think about is this right now. Um, what do you guys already know about Japan? I mean I want you to just take five seconds and think aloud to yourself. What are some things that you guys already know? Um, now, I think a lot of you guys probably said some of the same stuff. You know about sushi, you know about anime, you know samurais, you know sumo wrestling, um, you know all of these sorts of things. Now, a lot of the stuff that you kids typically say is actually stuff that originated in medieval Japan. For example, um, sumo wrestling goes all the way back to early medieval times. Um, and a lot of the stuff within sumo wrestling is actually something that is rooted in the original religion of Japan, which is the religion called Shinto. If you guys remember me pointing at my shin and my toe um, during the quizzes, uh, I'm sorry, the Quizlet a couple weeks ago, that's what we were talking about. So um, these sumo wrestlers, they take the salt that they prepare for the match, and a lot of times they throw it up into the air and they stomp on the ground. What they're actually doing is they're ridding the sumo wrestling ring of bad spirits, these spirits called kami. Now in Shinto religion, they believe that there's these kami that are either good or they're bad, but they're simply the natural spirits that sort of exist on planet Earth. So something like sumo that we see all the time actually has its roots all the way back in medieval China. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm misspeaking, medieval Japan. Now today, what you guys are going to read is you guys are going to read a short play. Now this is a perfect example of something that I wish we were together because we would have you guys stand up and act and wear robes and all sorts of stuff. But um, this play is going to be about this dude in the middle. His name's Prince Shitoku. Now he takes control of Japan. So the play that you guys are going to be doing today um, is a conversation. It's a conversation between Prince Shitoku and his aunt, who is called Empress Suiku. And Prince Shitoku is going to come up with all of these different ways on how to make medieval Japan a better place. Um, most importantly, he creates this thing called a constitution. Now, as you guys read through it, um, just imagine that I'm there cheering you guys on. It's a pretty interesting play. If you have brothers and sisters, maybe you can even uh, force them to do the play with you. But what you guys are going to do is read through the play. And then when you're all done, answer the five questions, Google Forms, just like you guys have been doing. Like I said, I miss you guys. I'll be trying to make lessons a little bit better, a little bit more interesting for you guys. Hopefully um, teach you guys as much as I possibly can, even when we're far apart. All right, kiddos, keep your chins up. Any questions, uh, send me emails. Good luck.